Well, um, I like making paintings that don't have to deal with context at all. Um, I mean, there's a context of within, there's a context within the painting. Um, there's a context of art history. So there's also, there is a, something, there's a lot of stuff you already have to um, negotiate when you're making a painting. It is a, it's a frame, there's parameters to it. I like the restrictions that are provided by painting, like it's two dimensional, um, yeah, it has edges. And um, I like to acknowledge, you know, that the, and actually think about the way the edge of the painting meets the wall. Like most of the references I use are directly related to painting more than pattern. So I think I've become increasingly engaged with just a dialogue of, of past and present painting. Um, I decided to take a little break from painting. I was inspired by um, this great collage that I found that my mom did in 1972 and um, I snatched it from her and got it framed and it's uh, like pretty much better than any collages I've ever made and and it gave me the idea when I saw hers I thought I, I should make some collages. At first I saw it as a really disparate activity kind of there's links obviously in terms of color and form but the way that they're made is so different and so much less labored um, that I, I couldn't really connect them very well and more recently within maybe the last two years really quite obvious connections like I would make something with a collage and then it would give me an idea for a painting the larger pieces of paper I was then working with were more relatable to the large-scale paintings that I focus on. So.